I have a tendency to write down everything that the teacher says, but that's not what I do anymore. What's up? I'm Quiet Mike, and let's talk a little bit about how I reviewed with audio lectures. So my friends gave me audio recordings of lectures which I'm not freely or openly distributing in respect to intellectual property. So with the audio recordings, my friends also provided the PDFs or the digital form of the handouts that were provided with the lectures. Personally, I'm not that kind of person to use handouts, so what I do is I just type down all the notes. I listen to the lecture and I just follow along, and instead of writing it because writing for me it takes a while, I just wind up typing it because I type faster. I remember back in nursing school, I would look at handouts, reading them and cramming myself with knowledge with all those sentences on the handout, hoping that at least most of the sentences that I read off the handout would be on the exam. I stress more on being able to memorize and have good photographic memory as opposed to actually learning and understanding the concepts of that lecture. Of course, it's much easier to study for a nursing school exam because you already know what the content is on but anything goes for the NCLEX, where it can all be random. Anyway, so this is what I do when I review with audio recordings. So I listen and then I type. I listen and I type. Or I type as I'm listening sometimes, or sometimes I'll just pause the audio recording and just type. I remember reading somewhere something about how it's important to be able to review with active listening. Of course, it's easy to look at your teacher and just, you know, try to listen to them or hear them. Or it's easy to look at rationales and question and answer books and type down the answer. But to actively listen or to actively review, it's to be able to put everything in your own words. To be able to understand it, to apply the knowledge that you're being fed. So when I review, in order for me to retain the information better, I write things, I type things in my own words. Not only do I get to familiarize myself with the content that I'm reviewing by typing them in my own words, but I also get to use my brain. I'm using it actively. It's not in passive mode, but I'm actually using my brain to come up with words and come up with a certain way or illustration for me to understand. So don't just think about exercising your core, but you also can exercise your brain. So what else? I don't write down everything that I hear. This is not nursing school and this is just review. Nursing school, I wrote down a lot of things. Even when the teacher said not to write down everything, I was still very much tempted to write. If I was sitting in the back of the classroom, I was most likely still writing what the teacher was saying. I couldn't even follow along because I couldn't understand what he or she was talking about and I think I have short term memory. You can tell that I'm the kind of student that uh, didn't read the chapters the night before. Okay, so the last part about reviewing for audio lectures is applying what you learned. I normally start a day with audio lectures, and then right after that, I'll get right into questions. It's so very satisfying to be able to go through practice tests or go through individual practice questions. When the question mentions the kind of content or the question type, what the audio lecture was talking about. So if a lecturer was talking about a select all that apply question with these kinds of questions and these kinds of answer choices, I felt more comfortable. The content that was recently discussed is still in my head. It's still fresh. And in addition to that, I can also prolong my memory by applying the knowledge that I learned. If you can apply what you learned, it's more beneficial to you. Alright, so in a quick review of what was talked about in this video, Write in your own words, review actively. Don't write down everything that you hear, just only the things that you don't know. And whatever you do know, just follow along and even talk about verbally as a lecturer may be talking. Just like a normal class. And apply what you learn by continually doing practice questions and practice tests about the particular topic. I hope any, if not most of those tips or things that I do can also influence you on how you review and how you study. If you have any other additional comments or concerns, feel free to comment down below. So with all that said, study well, rest best, and pray the most. Thanks for watching.